Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I received a question from one of my viewers asking me how do I synchronize my bike audio recordings with the video that I record while riding. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and it's really simple. So I'm here in my video editor. I use DaVinci Resolve. It's a free software and it's practically as good as any other paid software that you get. Uh, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X or whatever it may be. The free version is as good as any of those. The only limit that there is to what DaVinci Resolve can do for you is your own knowledge of the software. Other than that, it's practically professional software. So in the top left here, I've organized my video and my bike audio separately. So how you get started is you drag your video down to your timeline and then you drag your audio layer, which is from the zoom device underneath that as well. So your first step here is to mute one or the other. Let's go ahead and mute the zoom track. And then we go and look for the synchronization point in the video and its own audio. Now, the way I synchronize this is by either a clap or a honk from the bike. And I can already see in the waveform of the video over here, that is the honk point. Let's go ahead and listen to that. That is definitely it. So all you do then is zoom in on your audio track, maybe up to that point. Line up your thingy, this thing. <laughs> line it up right there and with that video selected add a marker to that point now you go ahead mute that audio and unmute your zoom track now all you have to do is go and look for the same honk but instead of looking for it on the video audio you look for it on the zoom track and you can see from the video audio over here it happens just before the engine starts so look for the similar wavelengths or waveform on the zoom track. Here we go. You see that little point over there right before the engine start? That is probably it. So with the video audio muted, go ahead and listen to your zoom audio and see if that is the point. That's definitely it. So all you do then is zoom in on that point. And as soon as you're satisfied with where that is, add a marker to that as well. I suppose in any other ed video editing software, this procedure or system of markers and finding waveform points is exactly the same. So all you need to go ahead and do now is practically everything before that is rendered useless. So delete everything before that on your zoom track. Then you drag it all the way over and just line it up with there. You see those little arrows that line up between the blue markers on the video and the audio that you're dragging around. That's your synchronization. So now everything before that is useless. What you can go ahead and do now is actually let's cut those let's make it all perfectly equal what you can go ahead and do now is you can unlink the audio track from the video and you can remove that completely all you do then is you take the zoom audio and you drag it up to the video select both and relink those clips now they function as as one clip as if it was recorded that way by itself drag it all the way left to your time on your timeline just make sure you unmute it <laughs> that's actually funny what happened at this point if you can see that over there is i managed to forget my kickstand down when i put my bike into first gear and what happens then the safety switch turns your bike off so let's just see in this moment if everything lines up nicely Perfect. You now have the video from your video recording and the audio from the Zoom recording lined up and synchronized precisely. And that's how you do it. Plain and simple. 
there you have it guys not very complicated at all this was probably the most cringe-worthy tutorial video that I've ever made but I needed to answer the question that my viewer had and that's the purpose of why we do these videos is to serve a ser serve a service to the people watching see you next time